Hello Year 7 and welcome to today's lesson. In your books, write the title Retrieval Practice and answer the following questions. Number one, how would we describe the key events of a storyline in a play? Is it theme, plot, setting or genre? Number two, a stage that extends into the audience on three sides by the audience is called Traverse stage, thrust stage, end on stage, or in the round. Number three, which of these terms do not relate to the setting of a play? Time period, characterization, location, or season. Number four, if an actor is standing at the back of the stage far away from the audience, we call this upstage, center stage, downstage or backstage? And number five, which of these words could be used to describe the atmosphere of a play? Fast, colourful, tense or enormous? In your books, write out the questions and the answer that you think is correct. Please pause the video here. And here are the answers. Number one, how would we describe the key events of a storyline in a play? The answer is number two, plot. Question two, a stage that extends into the audience on three sides by the audience is called? Number two, thrust stage. Question three, which of these terms does not relate to the setting of a play? And the answer is characterization, which is number two. Question four, if an actor is standing at the back of the stage far away from the audience, we call this upstage, which is number one. And the final question, which of these words could be used to describe the atmosphere of a play? The answer is number three, tense. Please write the correct answers next to the questions in your book. Today's learning outcomes. What? To introduce your assessment and start rehearsing. Why? To prepare you for your assessment in two weeks time. Assessment outcomes. For this assessment, you will have two lessons, including today, to create and rehearse a final piece of drama. In the third lesson, you will perform this piece of drama to be marked. The piece of drama you create must be in the style of one of the genres we studied in Term 5. And the genres studied physical theatre, musical theatre, murmur and epic. Don't worry if you haven't covered all of these in your class time last term, you will not be expected to perform a piece that you've not studied. Here are the reminders then about each of the genres. What is physical theatre? You've guessed it, it's a very physical form of theatre. Actors use lots of movement to express a story. They can be talking, however, most physical theatre performances are created using only movement. Musical theatre includes movement and dance, loud clear storytelling, uses a range of physical skills and a range of vocal skills. Epic conventions, over-exaggerated performances where the performers use big gestures and lots of emphasis in their speech. Direct address where performers speak directly to the audience using narration and step out. Story endings are unresolved, i.e. not always a fairy tale happy ending. Performers use placards, which are big sheets of paper, which provide the audience with information, for example, character names, basic information about the character, revealing their inner thoughts, the actor's multi-role, where they play more than one character. And our final genre is murmur play. The defining feature of a murmur play is the doctor. The main purpose of the fight is to provide him with a patient to cure. The hero sometimes kills and sometimes is killed by his opponent. In either case, the doctor comes to restore the dead man to life. 
The name of the hero in the English tradition is most commonly Saint George, King George or Prince George. His principal opponent is Turkish knight in southern England or the valiant soldier named Slasher elsewhere. In a murmur play, the actor is very over the top and funny. Assessment task. Create a three to five minute performance using one of the genres you've studied. You could choose an epic theatre performance whereby you create a fairy tale story using the epic theatre conventions. Murmur, using the set storyline of a murmur play. Physical theatre, you can choose any fairy tale story and make this a physical performance. Or musical theatre, any fairy tale suggested songs or scenes for musical theatre include Escapologist's scene from Matilda, the opening scene from Beauty and the Beast. If you're going to be using musical theatre, you can watch these clips with your teacher to help you work out what is happening in the scene. Here is the assessment criteria for your Doya practical performance of one of these genres. To gain on track, you need to stay focused for most of the time during rehearsals, Listen and cooperate with others, sometimes suggesting ideas to develop your own role and create a character that is different from yourself. You will also need to remember most of your lines and cooperate with others on stage. Be able to use more than one physical or vocal skill in a performance, perform on your own and use more than one technique in a group performance. And don't forget to use as many performance skills as possible to create a character which is engaging. Vocal skills, volume, emphasis, tone, accent, pitch, pace, pause, diction and projection. And physical skills, posture, gesture, mannerisms, body language, facial expressions, gait, eye contact and energy. To remind yourselves of what each of these vocal and physical skills means, refer to your knowledge organisers which should be stuck in the front of your books. You can use these to help you whilst you are creating your piece for performance. Good luck, your seven.